Aaron's tchotchkes. Aaron's tchotchkes because it's Saturday morning. All right, we are here this morning, bright and early on a Saturday with Liz Hall. And Liz is the owner of the V Trainer. And Liz is one of those amazing people that I met through another amazing person. And we just happened to sit next to each other at a networking thing. And we were kind of like, I like you. He's kind of like, I like you. I think you may have said, I like you first. <laughs> Probably. You, you may have said it first. Yeah. And then um, and then we got together. And I, I think ever since now, it's probably been a year. Wow. Um, yeah. 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 I feel like the time it might almost be our, our year anniversary-ish. <laughs> How appropriate then that we're getting together right. on a Saturday morning. On a Saturday morning. Some gals chatting. Perfect. Right? And, Almost and a quarter. <laughs> so I want Liz to go into a little more detail on, about her journey um, and how she started the V Trainer because it's a it's a really and I want to it, it's a unique app and she pairs you with a trainer so that you can work out at home without having to go to a gym. And just by the way, she was doing this pre-COVID. This isn't like it was some magical pivot in a frenzy. Like this is her jam. She knows it. She does it. Um, so Liz, tell us a little bit about how you, the steps you created for the V Trainer and why you did that. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, so I lost 100 pounds. And through that journey, I realized what I needed and what wasn't available. So I couldn't at the time afford a personal trainer to guide me. So when I would go to the gym, I had no idea what I was doing. And you know, it, it's the same old, like, if you don't know what you're doing, how can you get anywhere? <laughs> if you don't know where you're going, I, you know? So I created a program to give people a personal trainer for less than $12 a week to give you a customized program. On top of that, it's not its not the normal app. An, a, an app is gonna give you a cookie cutter program. Let's say that you have a general goal and, and you just wanna lose weight. It'll give you a cookie cutter program to everybody that wants to lose weight, not taking into consideration modifications, past injuries, medical history, we do that. So we really put your body and your lifestyle if you have equipment, don't have equipment, everything is customized down to those details to make it work for you. So I created what I needed when I was struggling at over 300 pounds of, I was hopeless. I, I wasn't sure what to do. I wasn't sure how to get the goal. I just know I needed a change. Um, and that's how this came to be. And so this is year five. It has not been a magical pivot. <laughs> it has been a spiritual quest of spiritual quests. Right. Uh, so that's what I, I call it a spiritual sprint is what I call it. <laughs> spiritual sprint. I love it. <laughs> because it, and even what you, I mean, everything, um, even though you've had your product and it's, it's been going, um, the rest of the world has changed. Right. And so what other people are looking for is changed. And um, thankfully you're there to offer options for people. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. The goal is to help people. I, I know what it's like. So the come from has always been help as many people as humanly possible. Yeah. And um, for my HR people out there, if, even if you're not in HR, um, you know, Liz and I talk because I do a lot of corporate massage, um, which will, that will come back someday. Um, and Liz is, um, has programs and is working on programs with companies as well. So the employees working from home um, can be supported by their employer um, because we're working in places we're not used to with equipment we're not used to. In my case, I'm just not used to sitting in a chair for as many hours a day as I have been. So it's and I think we can't dismiss the collective trauma that's happening that causes stress in different ways to every single person on this global unit right now. I mean, every single person has been impacted by this to different degrees. And so hopefully this is a way to alleviate some of that stress because that's a, a direct byproduct of working out, right? Yeah. Stress reduction. 
Yep, absolutely. At least it, it pulls you out of your, your mind. You know, you're focusing Which, on your body. Because you, you're, you're trying to figure things out, and I don't know what to do, and you're all freaked out. And so um, so when you take that time to work out a little bit, it, your, bot, your brain resets. All of it. Like, the oh, yeah, that no. we all hear about. Yeah. yeah it's real, guys. It's a thing. <laughs> it's true. <Swear> <laughs> not it's me. I'm true. not even saying it. I'm not the scientist. <laughs> right? Liz does it. It's true for massage. It's true for the exercise. It's true. That's, you know. It's yeah. true, so come see us. Um, so that I don't forget at the end, Liz has her website, thevtrainer.com. Um, you can follow her on Instagram and Facebook at The V Trainer. And that's the letter V in case I'm, I don't know, slur. There's nothing, there's nothing good in my coffee this morning, so I shouldn't be slurring. As, as <laughs> in virtual, because I get, what's the V? It's virtual. So Liz, I'm super excited to hear about your tchotchke this morning. Okay, I'm really excited too. So I told Aaron earlier, I don't really have a lot of stuff. So I remember there was, there was a storm. <laughs> it seems like after every storm, I get rid of massive amounts of stuff. So yeah. I donated about a quarter of my closet to Haiti after some storm. And then after one of the hurricanes, I donated another half of my closet to the shelter that's here in Pompano. And so I'm down to about a, a quarter of my closet. So stuff, and I need clothes, right? I gotta be clothed. So in way of stuff, I don't have a lot of stuff, but I do have this little guy and he's so oh cute. Gosh, he's so I can't tiny. stand it. He's so tiny. My gosh, is he a little elephant? He's a little elephant. And it came in this beautiful little box. It was a gift. And it says, a lucky little elephant. Okay, let me give the backstory. Who this yep. came from and why it's so special. So I got this from, I teach senior yoga. And there was a woman that we just clicked, you know, just like kind of like you. And I'm sure I said it as, as blunt as I did to you of, hey, I like you, you know. Um, she's such a special person to me. And so she gave this to me. And it says, a lucky little elephant to watch over you, bringing good luck and protection the whole day through. Carry him in your pocket or sit him in your room. You'll feel his love and happiness and good luck will follow you. And I think that's so cute. And it's so cute and little. And I just, I love it. It's so dear to me. I keep it on my desk um, so I can look at it all the time. And what is, the, what is the material of him? What is he He's made of? He's wood. He's a little wooden <laughs> elephant. And you can see like little details of Oh, and it's orange. That's your favorite color. It, uh, yes, I noticed that. Yes. Oh, yeah, because his ears are so pretty. Are they little, like little flowers pinched on there? Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's so cute. Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm because I don't usually share tchotchke when my guests share tchotchke, but I, oh, Bring it. I have, um, I have this elephant. I love elephants. I love elephants so much. So, I can't. Let's see. He's sparkly, and so I love elephant. They're they're like horses, gentle giants, right? They're amazing. They're. Uh, I want to. I want to just go love on one. Like, send me to Thailand. I don't care. Right. Corona or not, send me to Thailand. I want to hug up on an elephant. They're so oh, they're cute. So when I went to Africa, um, there were there were elephants everywhere, and when we, we were in our camp, we got up in the morning and we didn't know that elephants make um, deep grunting, like they sounded like lions. So in the middle really? of the night, we thought there were lions like outside our tent and Jerry was like building a barricade like to protect me from <laughs> certain death. No, he was like really convinced we were gonna die. We didn't sleep all night and it was like, I have to pee. So I'm either gonna wet the bed or I have to risk death to pee. And so it was, yeah, it was a really big thing. You didn't pull into the Dumb and Dumber, like, just go, man. Right, we, we, we did. We did. You were willing to we, sacrifice yeah. Jerry? <laughs> yeah, there was like a, like a chest, like a hope chest kind of thing. And he was like, okay, when we go to the bathroom, if the lion comes through the tent, you get in here, like, he was straight up saving my life. Like, he was, he was going to take the bullet for me, my sweet husband. Um, and when we got up in the morning, we were exhausted, and we come out of the tent and walk around the corner, and I walked into the leg of an elephant. Oh, 
because it was in the camp. And the guides were laughing at us. They were like, those aren't lions. Those are just the elephants, like, in the dried up riverbed talking to each other. And we're like, you didn't think to tell us that was a thing the first night in the camp because they thought we were going to die. What's up? No big deal. Ridiculous. Part of the adventure. Right? Part of the adventure. It, yes. Because I wouldn't You'll have that story. It because you're repeating the story. Right? Yeah. That's a good one. Right? And I wouldn't have known how much my husband really, really loves me. <laughs> he was gonna Something like cast in love, like putting in an African safari. Right? <laughs> but this little elephant was sent to me, and it's funny. It ha I don't, maybe you know what it is. It's on this little chain, and oh. it has, um, I don't know, I don't know what this is. It's like a little rubber something, so it's not a tack, and it, I don't know, I don't know what it is. And my little, um, my little step-granddaughter gave it to me. She sent it to me in a pen pal letter. And I was like, Nina, I love my elephant. What is it? But I don't know what it is. And she's like, I don't know, but I'm glad you like it. Like, <laughs> Good. So I give it my bulletin board because it brings me joy because Mila gave me that little elephant. It's so cute. You so look there you go. Today. We're also elephant sisters. You look adorable today. You're really put together. You know, the beauty of Zoom is that... You don't have pants on, do you? Do you even have pants on? <laughs> I swear. I thought about that. I'm like, you know, I've seen all these video funnies of people. And I, I, believe me, I consider it. I was like, maybe I'll go pantsless for this one. Yeah, I think I told you the other day I did my Wii workout at home because I didn't want to walk because I didn't want to put pants on. <laughs> Clothes are overrated. Listen... Totally. When I start to do these media segments, I think that's, we're going to just see how this goes, wherever I'm most comfortable. I mean, and we I just need the blouses, and you've got an amazing backdrop there. I got my, my, this little backdrop thing. I mean, that's what we need, you Whatever. know. You know, like the, like the Barbie bust. <laughs> There's a Barbie bust, and you do their hair. That's, that's all you need. <laughs> Aaron, I don't even know the last day I washed my hair. I strained it today to try and get the, the, the band. You, you strained your hair? Straightened it. Oh, because I have it up so much that there's like this permanent yeah. line. Yeah. But as far as days, no. Quarantine really let me live my best life for quite a bit. It is. Life. And I think it's healthier for us. We shouldn't be washing our hair so much. My hair's thriving right now. Right. Right. I'm going to have to tag my friend Kylie. Kylie does, um, she lives in California, so she doesn't watch this a lot, but she um, is a hair, like a hairdresser to the stars. She does like all the red carpet things and everything. So I'll, oh, I'll see I if I can get stories. I I'm, sure, great stories. I'm sure she does. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she does. Can you imagine? I'm going <laughs> to... I would never be like that, but it'd be funny. Like, you know, I, I heard, and I, I would never slander anybody. I just, I heard that like, because I worked at the Cavaliers and they have a green room because they would have a ton of concerts and I, I'll leave the name out, but somebody had them pick out a certain color of M&M. And, and I've heard, I've heard that funny. story. Yes. Yes. So I hope I don't have any like weird things, you know, I wonder that I like to like self-analyze quite a bit constantly. Yeah. And I told uh, yeah, I told Jerry that you know when when I'm all, you know, famous and on tour and stuff, he is gonna have to be the one that makes sure my green room is in order, and that I <laughs> yeah, give him your list of demands. I, the only like weird thing I have right now that I know like for sure where I even look at myself and I'm like you're weird is like I can't have a dish in the sink, like I can't have dishes in the sink. I cannot do that. That's not weird. Jerry's it's like that. Weird. Like I don't, but like I get not cool about it. Like if there's a dish in the sink, it's a matter of time before I like go into this internal freak out where I'm like, well, I better go clean it up. <laughs> so now we know in the, in the horror movie starring Liz Hall, <laughs> it's going to open with like all these dishes in the sink and oh. Liz, and Liz like, I don't know, Velcro to the refrigerator, having to stare at it, and that's how you torture I, I would have a complete meltdown. There we go. New segment for Aaron's tchotchkes. Like, the worst form of torture for you. And yours is forced to look at dirty dishes. Clutter. Yeah, I would say clutter yeah. and, and <laughs> dishes in the sink. That's so funny.
<laughs> Let's talk about our give back. What is, what is your, um, I mean, I, I love your business so much and I feel like it in itself is a huge give back to people because you've created something out of a need and love for people. Um, but tell us other ways that you're feeling the love these days. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very passionate about my business, um, in love with it. And so we did, we do give back things throughout the year. So we did, um, when all of this was happening with Corona, we did a big, uh, nurses giveaway. We just gave free trainers to a nurse for a month. Um, my heart strings get pulled with children, seniors, and animals. Those are like my big three, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, always drawn to it. Um, I have a couple of charities that I'm very passionate about. In fact, we partnered with, we're going to be diving into our challenge for charity, which allows us to give back continuously throughout the year, which I'm a big believer in. Oh yeah. Uh, and we are partnering. We just did a donation for, it's called women in technology and it's out of Atlanta. And I'm so excited about it because you ever just hear people's vision and you're like, holy cow, not only can I see it, like I see it right here, right now in front of me. Yes. When I had read about this organization, that's that was my reaction. Like I was just like, yes. And so we're partnering with them that we, we did a donation and it's all about empowering women that are interested in technology and trying to get them more at the forefront of leadership with technology yeah. because that is a male dominated um, and I think anything that's male dominated is not at the lack of ability within women. It's maybe lack of exposure. I'm a big believer. If you're exposed to something that it all becomes possible. So they create these programs to give that access and training. It's just, it's beautiful. So ch kids, children, kids. Um, I was, uh, an ambassador with the Broward outreach in Pompano. Unfortunately that shelter closed. But the Broward Outreach, if you're local, please, please look at it. Um, it's unbelievable. They give, I think it's 88 cents to the dollar back to the shelter versus executive administrative costs and salaries. They have two, they have a Hollywood in Miami still. I was heartbroken when they closed Pompano. Yeah. Um, and the mission still stands. 25% of Broward and Dade are children, 25% of our homeless. And that, and if, if that still stands and I still have work to do. So that's a big, another big heartstring pull is, yeah. is homelessness. Um, for me now, of course, my passion in life, because it came from my struggle is to get as many people as healthy as possible and to empower them. That's a big thing for me is to give people their confidence and power back through just letting them know they matter, constantly staying with them so they know they have somebody behind them um, and from there, I know that the butterfly effect will, will take place, right? The healthier we are, the more we give back, the, the, the stronger we are in mind, body, and soul, the more we contribute to the world. And, and so I know there will be a ripple effect. Uh, but those are some things that are, are very close to me. I, I, you know, what I love too, is the Ronald McDonald house. I would like to partner with them as well, just because of their mission and, and taking that stress off the parents. If anybody doesn't know about Ronald McDonald house. Uh, look at it. It's unbelievable. They pay for the expenditures of families where children are going in for surgeries with sometimes fatal diseases. Um, beautiful, beautiful organization. Yeah, and it's, I will have a nonprofit. I will have a nonprofit. Yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent, absolutely. And I, I, it's going to be geared towards children. I've always said that. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. What what ways? The community center, something, something. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I love that you mentioned Ronald McDonald House. I think it's um, one of those organizations that feels like it was around forever ago, but you don't hear much about them currently, I feel like. You and know, here, I'm from Michigan. We had more locations up there. So I didn't know if that was a a geographic thing. I, I wasn't, because I don't hear about it at all down here. Right. Yeah. And I know when I lived in California, we heard about them, you know, growing up. I there. wonder if there's just more houses there. Like, I, but it's funny you say that because I had that exact same, uh, I just, I was so exposed to it, but I was part of the board up, up in Ohio and so emergent, I guess. Yeah. I'll, uh, 
for anybody looking at that, I'll, I'll find the link to Ronald McDonald House and I will post that here so everybody can take a look see at Unbelievable. That. You can volunteer to go cook dinner at the house. I mean, it's it, there's a plethora of things that you can do, tons of things you can do. And that's my message too. And anybody with charity work, sometimes we're like, well, I don't have any money. Don't give money. The most precious thing we could ever give is time. So if you have the heart for it, just ask. That's what I, I would do that all the time. Hey, how can, how can I help? Yeah. And it'll be random stuff, but it helps somebody out there. They, they always need help in some way. All the charities, all the everything. Yeah. Put stamps on envelopes, okay? Right. Whatever, whatever helps. Yep. Questions? Um, does V Trainer have anything going on now that you wanted to? Um, we're going to do a free week. Anybody that's watching this that has an interest, you can have a free week with the personal trainer. What they're going to do is take in all your information, get to know you a little bit and give you a week of customized programming just for you. So you can that's get a feel amazing. for it if you have any interest. Sometimes, you know, people like to try before they buy, which I totally get. And yeah. then I'm, I'm such a sucker. So if I know I came from no. Aaron's couch, I'm like, yo, give you a little, another little family friends discount. Now I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm probably not a good business owner because I'm just like, Stop you need help, take it. Because no, you're, because you're amazing, and you're, and you're offering an amazing program and giving people an opportunity in a time when they need it to be able to try it because people are challenged with their new physically and financially challenged. So financially, you know, it's a personal trainer in the gym. You know, the cost of mine is less than 1% for what you're getting. I mean, and the reality is, is if you need a little boost, you have a whole team behind you. Yeah. Anyway, I could go on and on. If you have any interest, please call me. You're more than welcome to contact me. If you have any questions, know if it would be a fit for somebody that you love, just, um, this is me. <laughs> this is me. And if you want to um, maybe go ahead and drop the comment below uh, V Trainer, and then yeah. um, we can get you in touch with Liz on here. You can Anybody can always message me. I'll get you in touch with Liz. But if you want a free week uh, with the V Trainer, then we'll give you a little assessment. And like Liz mentioned, go through all your equipment, really talk about what you need in a workout. It's not just a custom cookie. It, it is custom. It's not a cookie cutter app. It is custom to you. Um, then we'll we'll get you connected with Liz and, and get you moving a little bit and lose those. What are they calling it? The quarantine? Quarantine 15. This has been amazing. Liz is amazing. You're amazing. You guys, if you want a free week of training um, with the V Trainer, drop, the link. drop in the V Trainer below. Um, Instagram, the V Trainer. Facebook, the V Trainer. The yeah. V -trainer because um, Liz's branding is on point. So when you're looking for her, that's how you find her. There's no, no crazy. No squirreliness. No squirreliness. Straight up. Right? Everyone have an amazing day. Liz, have an amazing day. Thank you, my love. Thank and you so we'll much. See you all soon. I'll be here next week. Have a great Saturday. Bye, guys.